Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing a thread up box. Here it is. So if you want to see what is in my box, please stay tuned. don't know thread up is a clothing subscription box um, it's not so much of a subscription box as it's more of a of an on-demand styling box so you don't get it um, monthly or quarterly or anything like that you just get it on um, on request so um, it is used clothing so it's it's more of um, from what I understand I've never gotten the box before so I don't know for sure but from what I understand it's more of like high-end used clothing um, so what you do is just, you go online, you fill out a profile, um, so they can kind of match your tastes. Um, and then you set up your ideal price point. Um, they charge you a $10 styling fee and then you, then they send you the clothes. So you actually have 21 days. Now, I don't know if you always have 21 days or if they're just giving you, um, an extra long period of time right now to try on the clothes, but you do have 21 days, which is a long time, um, to try on what you like that's about it so let's try some clothes on I'm going to I haven't opened anything up yet so I'm super excited so let's get into the box and see what we got so okay here's the box it's big it's heavy so um, it's a lot bigger than I just did the uh, stitch fix box and this one is a lot bigger so I'm assuming that there's that there's more in here and I think they do um, not just, not just clothes. I think they, they do accessories and stuff as well. So, uh, when you first open the box, they have, um, this is the label that they give you. Um, and then they give you a little pamphlet here that kind of tells you a little bit about the company. Um, and then a letter. Hey there, thanks so much for being one of our earliest customers for Thread Up Goodie Boxes. It's something that we, we've been wanting to do for years. Um, so uh, that's kind of nice. It gives you a, a little letter from them, from the co-founder of the company. And then here is, um, I'm not gonna go through this because I don't wanna, it, it actually looks like they gave me quite a few things, but this is the price of <clears throat> all the items that they've included in the box along with the price of all of them. So let's get in here. This is what the box looks like. Ugh, this is so heavy. So it's cute little tissue paper, little dots. Sealing deal since 2009. All right, so let's see what we got. The first thing is a, looks like a tank top. Here, it's actually kind of cute. The fabric is very nice. It's second hand, so I'm smelling it to make sure it's, it smells good, which it does, it smells clean. Um, okay, so the maker here is Norma Kamali. I don't know who that designer is, but um, it does have tags on it. So I assume that maybe this is, this is new with tags. So this blouse, the estimated retail retail price is one hundred and sixty five dollars, um, and their price is thirty dollars and ninety nine cents. So I'll show them a little bit now, and then I'll be trying them on for you. So there it is. Um, very stretchy material, nice. Feels like very quality material, and I like the design. So it's got a, like a razor back, back. So. Um, so far, so good. I like it. I don't, it looks like it might be a little bit too small for me, but it is pretty and I like it. So that's the first one. I like it. Number two. Okay. This is Lucky Brand. I've heard of that. Lucky Brand jeans. Um, they are, there's the bottom. So looks like uh, some skinny jeans. There's the front. All right. So they're pretty nice. They are um, 
retail $109 and their price is $23.99. So they seem pretty nice. All right, and then the third item, purple, the purple tank top. Um, that is that is from Anne Klein, and it's a very kind of see-through material. Um, retail price is fifty-four dollars, and fifty-four dollars, and the thread-up price is sixteen ninety-nine. So I don't know. Don't love the color, but we'll try it on and see. Okay. These are a pair of plaid kind of shorts. They're short, a little bit shorter than what I usually wear um, by Abercrombie & Fitch, which I do love the way that Abercrombie & Fitch um, fit me. So uh, they are, retail price is $58 and they're $14.99. Love the price on that, so, um, so we'll see. I like those. All right, the next one, I don't even know how many I've, I don't know what's that five this is number five now okay this is Michael Kors um, and so far the quality is really good um, I would say of all of them this one you could tell has been this doesn't look brand new um, but the rest have looked pretty you know pretty good this one looks like it's been washed quite a few times but anyway this is a Michael Kors uh, tank top kind of like a v-neck looks like it has a little little button detail oh Ooh, that opens that's a pretty deep V <laughs> I would want I would leave that button shut um, but anyway kind of cute so um, it's got the uh, I don't know if I'm focusing there um, that is let me find that on my list retail 72 and their price is $17.99. All right, went to the next. A pair of white shorts. They have a little design at the bottom. That's actually pretty cute. I like that. Um, okay, this is J. Crow. I like J. Crow. Um, they the retail on this is $60, and they're asking $39.99. That's not like a huge discount on that, but they are pretty cute and they're in very good shape oh you know what not really they actually have a little stain there can you guys see that so I don't the fact that they have a stain and they're kind of high in price I don't know probably won't keep those but I guess that's what you get maybe sometimes when you're buying secondhand but maybe I can get the stain off if I love them so I don't know okay um, next up it's like a denim button up top short sleeved um, this is um, also by J. Crow <sighs> that is retail is 60 and they are asking $39.99 for that you know what those last ones they may have been Asking only $17.99 for those. Yeah. You know what I got the price wrong? These ones are $17.99. Even better. I like that better. This one was the I, I saw J. Crow and I and I I got the price wrong. These ones, this shirt is $39.99. Um, this is definitely not a style that I usually wear. I'll try it on, but I, I I'm not a big fan of button-up shirts, so um, and I don't love this style, but we'll see. But this this one is $39.99. So, okay. Next one. I have opened so many things. I, I don't even know what, what number I'm on right now. But here's the next thing. Looks like a pair of black pants. They are a little stretchy at the bottom. Like tapered. Um, they have a sh like elastic waistband also. Interesting look. They, <laughs> I don't know the brand. I, there is no, I, I have no idea. They, they, I don't know. 
Uni, Uniqlo? U, Uniqlo. Okay. I've never heard of this brand. Have you guys ever heard of this brand? Uni? Okay. I've never heard of it. Okay. Uh, retail is 60 Their price is $17.99. At first, I couldn't even read the tag. Like, it's a, it's a weird tag to me. And it's it's in the front. It's actually in the front of the jean, of the pants. Like it's right. It's up here, and you can't even really tell it's a tag. It kind of just has the material on there. I don't like this material. Actually, it's not soft. It feels like it's kind of itchy. It's 96% um, polyester and 4% spandex. I'll try them on. We'll see. But I don't like the material, and I've never heard of that brand before. So, but we'll see. And this is a, the next thing. Okay, these pants look huge, really big, and they're not skinny jeans. They seem like more of a straight leg. Okay, what is this? Okay, J brand. I have heard of this brand before. This is a size 29, um, which that is around my size, but they, I don't know, they look big. Maybe that's just the cut of them. Maybe they're kind of like a boyfriend style jeans. I like them. They're like a little bit distressed, which is kind of cool. I like that. Um, but I don't know about the fit of these. I'm curious to see what they look like. Um, they, um, wow. I didn't realize they were such expensive. I, I guess I don't know my brands very well. Anyway, the retail is $196 and their price is $30 and 99 cents. So we'll see. And I think this is our last thing in the box. These are very thick, almost feel like wool pants. They got a funny smell to them, this one. <laughs> I don't, actually, I don't know if they're full length or they might even be a capri length. They have like a, um, an elastic waist also. Um, this brand is Halogen and I, I don't even know what material these are. I'm curious to know. These are polyester, 80% polyester, 18% rayon, 2% spandex. Um, and they are... What did I say? Halogen? Retail is $119. Their price is $21.99. So that is all I received. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. Ten items. That's a lot. That's a lot in a box. That's a lot to try on. So let me get to trying these items on and um, let's see what they look like. And please let me know what you think. Okay. So here is the first ensemble I have. Um, this is the Michael Kors shirt um, that had the little little button top here for you, um, along with the Michael Kors, or not the Michael Kors, the Lucky Brand jeans. So there's the back of the jeans. I did. Can you guys see the bottom of them? So I I did roll the the jeans up in the back here. Um, the, the shirt actually, you know, it fits kind of nice. It's, I feel like the button is just hanging on by a thread here. Um, and I don't love the style of it. The jeans actually, they fit amazing. So I really like the, um, I really like the jeans. These were what I was most excited about in the box. Um, the, the shirt is just okay for me. I have my mirror over here, so I'm just kind of like glancing over as I'm talking to you guys. Um, so, but I don't know. I do really like the, um, I do really like the jeans. The jeans are comfy. They're snug. They fit me pretty well, I think. So the shirt, eh, it's okay. Just okay for me. So, um, let me know what you guys think. Okay. So this is. <laughs> This is why I don't do, um, this is why I don't do button down tops because right here, um, 
I'm sure you busty ladies out there will feel my pain on this one. Um, <laughs> this is what happens when you do a, um, a button up top. It, it's actually like, this is actually kind of a cute look. Um, if it, the top, if the top was bigger, um, I would like it, but this is obviously, I, I couldn't wear that with the top busting out like that. Um, the shorts are adorable. I love the shorts. Um, these were the ones that had the little stain on the back. So I think they were like $17.99 though. So, um, yeah, so I think probably for the price, if I can get the stain out, I think I might keep the shorts. So the shirt has got to go. I guess if I put like a tank top or something underneath of it and then wore it open, it might be a cute look. So I could try that and see if I like that, but I can't wear it like this clothes like this but overall it's kind of like a cute look all right on to the next <sighs> wow okay <laughs> there is so much wrong with all this yeah these are enormous enormous and this shirt is tight um Maybe it could work like underneath of a mate for work or something like underneath of a a uh, Like a, a jacket or something. I don't know Probably like if I wore it underneath of like a suit jacket or something like that. I guess that could be kind of cute I don't hate the shirt. The shirt's okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it Um, I think it was like $30 or something. I don't know that I would spend $30 on it I don't know if I love it $30 worth um, but these <laughs> These pants are making me laugh. They are like seriously enormous. I I don't even know what size they are. I, I don't even know if there was a size listed on them. I don't know. They're like huge, huge. It's actually funny. So the pants, definitely a no. Um, I think I have two more things to try on. One pair of shorts and one pair of jeans and then we're done. Okay, these are the last pair of jeans that I have. They are a very unusual fit. I don't even know what you would call these fit, but they're definitely very baggy. Um, they seem to fit like okay in the waist, um, but they definitely flare out at the bottom, as you can see, um, and they're baggy everywhere else. So I, I imagine that's how they're supposed to fit. I don't know. Um, I could see that that would make be a cool fit for somebody, but it's just not my personal style. I definitely prefer like a, a skinnier fit kind of jean. So, um, not for me, but I don't know. I guess maybe that's how they're supposed to fit. But um, one more pair of shorts and then, um, and then that's it. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. This is the last and final item. Um, these were the, I think the Abercrombie shorts. Um, they're cute. They're, you know, they're like a, a little bit big. I think I could have gone down in size. So as you can see, they're like a little bit big in the waist, um, but I'm actually okay with that. I do like, I'd rather things be a little bit loose in, on me than like super tight and uncomfortable. So I actually really like these. I probably will keep them. They're, they're like super cute and comfy for the summer and you can kind of wear them with like any color shirt. I think they'd be neutral and they're a very comfortable material. Um, so. I like these. I like these. I think these are a win too. So I'm, I'm very happy with these. Um, so let me get changed back into my regular clothes and then we'll do a quick recap. All right. All right, you guys, I am literally sweating. My hair is a mess, 10 pieces of clothes, but we're done. So, um, what did you think of thread up? Um, I, I liked it. I mean, I like that they give you a huge, select, a, a huge selection, so you're bound to like something. I definitely liked the Lucky Jeans, so if anything, for the 10 bucks, um, I, did, I did get that piece of clothing. The one pair of shorts, the Abercrombie shorts I liked. So, all in all, it was fair. I always expect to not love everything, especially on the first time the stylist um, pick stuff for you because stylists do have to get to know what your preferences are. So you do have to give them a fair shot. So I will definitely 
um, give them another, another try and, and see what happens. So I hear that they can send you other stuff besides clothes too. I didn't get anything, but I'm open to getting like accessories and jewelry and you know, purses, shoes, whatever. So, um, but anyway, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, you have 21 days to return it. You can go back on and give them some feedback, what you liked, what you didn't like, and leave them some comments. So hopefully next time they can pin down your style a little bit better. But um, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Um, I am a new channel, so I would really appreciate any new subscribers. Um, I would really appreciate likes, comments, um, anything you guys can do to support me. Um, I'm really trying to get to at least 100 subscribers because I would love to do a nice giveaway for all of you. Um, and like I said, in the future, I am going to definitely be posting at least once a week. Um, I am getting a few boxes coming up very soon. I will, I think I mentioned them in the last video. I just recently posted my Stitch Fix video. I will be getting a few budget-friendly boxes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing separate videos or if I'm gonna kind of be doing like them all in a little bit of a bundle. So, and I also would like some feedback from you guys if there's any boxes in particular that you guys would like me to subscribe to and that you would like me to unbox for you on my channel because I'm always open to new suggestions and new ideas of boxes that are out there. There are so many and I would love to hear what you guys would like to see on my channel. So anyway, thank you so much again for tuning in and I will see you guys next time. Bye.